What is up YouTube? We are right back with another video. It must be Christmas because I have two micro tags and uh, they're the new ones. So um, if you haven't seen my last video on the MSI, check that out. It will give a bit of background, but I will repeat myself in this video um, since I know many of you are new to the channel and these knives are um, very popular right now, very in demand, so people might just be looking at single videos. Um, this will be a bit of a longer video, and when I say longer, I mean probably around 15-20 minutes. Just as I go through the knife, kind of looking at its different features, just doing an unboxing and overview. Um, for those of you who may not have seen in detail, um, this knife yet so as I'm sure you can tell by the title you know what this is um, I'll pull it up really close to the camera if it'll focus so it is the stitch ramlock standard edge d10 black stone washed so I really wanted uh, this configuration um, there is the focus there is the green g10 and the brown or tan g10 Wow, I really messed it up by getting that close. There we go. So, I, if you, again, if you haven't seen my last video, I also have the MSI in the tan. This is from the latest drop. It is March 13th today. These just arrived to me at my home in Canada. Um, this was from the third drop off of the Microtech Gear website. Um, again, this is the bronzed blade with those tan or tan handles. Yeah, tan handles. So looking pretty swell. Um, really liking this MSI so far. Huge knife. Um, people who can't read uh, specifications on the internet will be like, oh, I just want to flip it for $7 million because I didn't realize how big it is. Uh, look at the specifications before you buy shit. Uh, you don't buy a truck that needs to have a certain size bed or something or a certain size engine to do certain type of work and then just be like, oh shit. Um, you know, I don't know. People just uh, jumped on the hype wagon and then didn't know what they were getting themselves into. But I really like this. Big knife. I'm a big knife guy. And I really like this front part for choking up. Pretty awesome. Ramlock so far so good. Uh, this one, since playing with it, has kind of started to walk towards the um, non-show side. So we'll get that fixed, but I'm gonna do some harder use with this, some testing. Um, really want to test out the ram lock, get it dirty, get some crud in there, and see how it still operates and locks up. Um, so this one I really won't be fiddling with too much quite yet. Um, as I want to test it and see what happens to it. This is the budget American, you know, this is a 250, this one was about 300, 280, I think it was, because this is the cooler one, air quote, cooler one. Um, but yeah, this is the budget American knife, so kind of want to see if you have, you know, I'm not saying you don't have any skills, but if someone didn't want to touch anything on this knife, what would happen? Would it stay lubricated? Would it get gummed up? Um, would the blade go off center? What sort of things can you expect with an MSI? So if that interests you, subscribe um, and definitely put the notifications on because I will be making videos on this knife. But that's not why you're here. You're here for this. And this is the stitch. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Borka Blades Customs. Um, one day, one day, I hope to have one of those. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, Sebastian, um, I think is his name. Check out Borka Blades. Um, ooh, girl, look, we got a little sticker, a little sticker, a little gold sticker. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Set that aside. Can we get this out? Yes, we can. Standard packaging. Not as scuffed up as the other one. Um, again, these made the long journey up to Canada. So thankfully they uh, made it. Um, it was a bit of a kerfuffle. Um, and I will probably make a separate video talking about 
you know, my experience shipping knives up here to Canada. Um, you Americans are probably like, you know, goddamn Canadians stealing all the good knives. Well, sorry. Um, like I said in my last video, hold on a minute. Let's look at this beauty. So there's the Ortho Blade logo. That's clean. How's the centering out of the box? I'll let you be the judge, but it looks a little bit again to the non-show side. Pretty dang close. This is awesome. You're shaking a little bit. You know, I've always wanted a stitch. I've always wanted a Microtech stitch, but I could never... Um, Obviously in Canada, and even when I did live in the States, originally from the States, um, couldn't have one because uh, I, I, I don't want to carry a lot of those. Um, yeah, and I couldn't. Huge backspacer. Look at that. Let's just Google and Aqua over this for a minute. What's the serial number we got here? Dun, 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 dun. 17323. That's a cool number. I love sevens. Let's do a nice open. Ho ho ho. That is awesome. M390MK. Finish is awesome. Blade shape is awesome. Wow. That choking up is ridiculous. That is so cool. Let me grab a rag we can wipe this down um, standard uh, microtech issue um, not an issue but when you get new microtechs they come up lubed because they're an m390 mk and m390 um, likes to let's not say rust but likes to stain size comparison so put that there there. Put that there. Um, so there's a bit of a size comparison for you. I'll leave those there for a minute. Again, the Socom Bravo, still, still biggest. MSI feels huge in the hand. Uh, you can see some of that staining on the M390. This is kind of what I was talking about. So not a huge deal, but you can definitely notice it. Um, just again, with normal use, you will get kind of some of these stains. Um, and yeah, that's M390. So curious to see if MK will be any better when it comes to um, that sort of, not rusting, but just like spotting and staining. Um, yeah. So, first impressions of the stitch. I'm trying to show that ram lock off a bit. Very steep. What am I looking at? There you go. There's that ram lock. M390MK. What a badass blade shape. So happy I could try this. Nice clip curved um, compared to the MSI where you have the reversible but you got these big dingleberries hanging out. Um, the stitch is looking good with you know no dingleberries hanging out. Cool pivot that's kind of raised. Come on, focus. Raised pivot, just the hardware just looks fantastic. Black G10 picking up some of that oil. Who? Wow. Move the MSI out of the way, just kind of oogle and ogle this guy for a minute. So, uh, yeah, this is the new Ramlock stitch, and this is going to be just as hard, if not harder to get, than the auto version. 
this is awesome. Um, I don't see why everyone wouldn't want this. Um, blade behind the edge seems pretty thin. Nice, steep, full flat grind. Nice big deployment hole. Ergonomics. Obviously, it's the stitch. Um, I'm not saying anything new by saying that the ergonomics are great. The choking up is great. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. Like I was saying in my MSI video, I would like to hold my knives like this. Uh, so it's perfect for everyday tasks. Very cool. Let me know what you want to see on this. I will be updating and doing a full review on the stitch as well as the MSI. So if you are interested in that content, uh, definitely subscribe and keep an eye out for the new videos. But uh, just wanted to do an unboxing and just show off this amazing knife because I know there's not many videos of it. They haven't gotten to everyone's hands yet. Um, I was very fortunate to pick this one up and uh, looking forward to the new additions and you know color and variations that will be undoubtedly come in the future soon. So yeah, great looking knife and looking forward to carrying and using this a lot more. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks.